Memphis officials say they are tired of seeing kids getting shot in our streets, and this has been an especially deadly week. City Council spent yesterday figuring, uh, figuring the talking with MPD Director Mike Rawlings about how to get more officers on the streets, including relaxing residency requirements, might help. Well, tonight, Local 24 political analyst Otis Sanford has his point of view on the shootings and whether more police would actually stop such crimes. You can add me to the long list of Memphians who are fed up with the senseless violence that continues to take the lives of innocent children. We have seen this grim scenario too many times in recent years. A young child sitting in the back seat of a car shot to death by someone who felt disrespected by the child's mother. A child killed while playing in her yard. And then another youngster brutally murdered in retaliation. Now, just within the last three days, the carnage against our children has been mind boggling. And it's understandable that so many people in Memphis, from the director of police, to various community activists and frightened citizens are angry that gun-toting criminals would be so callous, brazen, and vicious. Everyone is searching for answers, which are few. Yes, we need more police officers, and City Councilman Martavius Jones should abandon the effort to overturn a City Council decision from last year that will allow Memphians to relax residency rules for police officers. But even if we had several hundred more police on the streets, that alone will not prevent hotheads with a gun from indiscriminately pulling the trigger, whether the act is gang-related or simply out of rage and meanness. The bottom line is we Memphians must decide for ourselves to stop the violence and turn in those who don't. Otherwise, the killings will continue. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.